Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea man chops down tree let the story commence. Craig had a bit of a problem. It was coming up for summer, winter had passed and it was coming up for summer and he was wanting to deal with a problem that he'd been getting, wanting to get rid of for quite a while, which was, see once it got sunny, time for barbecues and all that in his back garden, there's this big fucking tree. And due to where the garden was and what angle, you know, what direction it pointed, the sun run about, no midday because it'd be directly above, but when it would come down, this big fucking tree would cast a big shadow into his garden. The house next to him was fine, the house there was fine, his one, run about one o'clock, two o'clock or something, three o'clock, big fucking shadow, right into the fucking, you know, too much shade, it, it just made it feel cold. Nice sunny day and just... You, you look to the neighbours, they've got t-shirts and all that, and he's like, I think I'll go and, go and get a hoodie. Um, so he's like, right, see this see this here? I'm, I'm chopping down a tree. It was winter though, and he thought, I'm going to do it now. Because see if I chop it down, big fucking tree by the way, he was thinking, what I want to do is I want to do it during winter because one, it gets dark earlier, so I'll be able to do it under the cloak of darkness. Two, Less leaves, no leaves or the leaves have fell off because of winter, so I've not got tons of stuff to fucking clear up. Um, it'll be fine. I might, I might, I'll chop it down. I won't use like a chainsaw, I'll just chop it down and then it'll fall like a big fucking tree, like maybe like 90 years old or something. I'll chop it down and then snow will land on it, hopefully. I'll do it on a snowy night so when it lands. People will only notice it for quite a while because it will just be like covered in snow. They'll just look out and they'll go, "Oh look!" And it will just be that wasn't it. The, the tree wasn't in his garden. It was in this back bit. Lots of trees, but there's this one particular tree that just kept blotting. He thought, right. So he held. He looked. It waited for the weather report to say there's going to be snow in the next day, and it came. There's going to be snow in the next day. It said, he went, right, now's the time. So, he went out with an axe. There was a neighbour, neighbour went like that. Oh, Craig, hello. Where are you going with the, where are you going with that axe? The axe? The axe? What axe? This axe? Yes, wait, 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 where are you going with that? You look like you're going to chop down a tree or something. <laughs> and Craig said, <laughs> you're laughing because that would be a daft thing to do. I mean, you've no stump, you've no caught me or anything. You ju you're saying it because that's a ridiculous thing. I don't know, I don't know what you're saying there, Craig, but... Um, no, I'm just joking, just... Because I'm, I'm actually going to chop down a tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying That Yes, I was just joking. So you actually are going to chop down a tree. What, what tree are you going down to chop? This this time? What tree? Um, It's that tree right in the back bit. It casts this big shadow. And shadow, it's night time. During summer, when I'm having a barbecue, Oh, right, I remember you, I remember you complaining about that. Craig, I don't know if you remember us talking about this, but you're not actually allowed to do that without the council's permission. No, I know, I know, but I was just thinking, I just want to get rid of it, I just want to get rid of it. You don't mind, do you? Um, I'm sorry, Craig, but I do. I do. I do. Oh really? What is it you mind about it? Well that's a conservation, you know, it's conservation uh, council zone and these trees have been there for longer than we have and you can't just go chopping it down because they cast a bit of shadow. Next you'll be chopping down people because they cause a bit of shadow, cause, cause, cast, cast, and cause and cast a shadow. And Craig went, I well, that's a fucking idea, that, isn't it? 
and his neighbour went like that. What's that supposed to mean? And Craig went, you're casting a mighty big fucking shadow on me right now. And John, that was the neighbour, said, well, how, how can I be casting a shadow? It's night time. I mean it over my spirit, my well-being, my, jo my joie de vivre. Do you know what that means, John? Yes, it means joy of life. Happy, joy of life. Happiness of life. Enjoying life. Joy for life. So you, you're a bit of a bookworm then. You think you know all the fucking expressions and all that. I only just found that out yesterday. Take it you've known that for years. Probably found it in your wee fucking private school, primary fucking one eye. I. I didn't go to private school, Craig. Some of us were just well educated and listened to it. Yeah, you know what? Craig went like, you know what? You've cast a mighty, mightily, mightily, mightily big dark shadow in my life right now. And I think it's time to chop you down and chop you into fucking firewood, mate. And uh, that'll fucking warm me up. That'll warm me up and I'll fucking chop you into firewood and fucking set you alight. Is that a threat? It's not a threat. It's just a wee joke. Just a wee joke. I'm going back up the road. I wasn't really going to, I wasn't really going to chop down a tree. I'll see you later. <coughs> Any hard feelings, man. Do you think you should shake everybody? John went like this. Right. Oh, I don't know. Should they shake? Craig, was that one? Let's go. Come on. Shake. Let's go. Be friendly. Come on. And John went like that. Oh, the neighbours. The windies went up. No! No, don't do it! They're holding signs up and all that. It's like wrestling. Don't do it! No! What? Just going to shake something. What? Don't do it! Don't do it! Well, well, Craig was like, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went like that. Oh, boom. And John went like that. Oh, he went like oh, boom. And he went like oh, boom, whoop, 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 whoop. And John went. Oh, boom, 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 boom. And then Craig ran out of that side of the road like that. Bounced against a hedge. Ran to the other one. Bounced against that hedge. And went like, Whoa! And then our neighbours went like, Aah! And then Craig, while John was lying on the ground, Craig climbed up. The tree that he was going to chop down climbed up it. Like that. Everybody was like, Yes, man! He was like, Just as he was about to land his fucking elbow right on John, John rolled it away! And Craig went like... Oh. Craig was like, lying on the ground like... Oh. 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 Try to get up like that. John got up like that. Picked up his ladder that was sitting in somebody's garden and like, put it down the middle of the road. Started climbing up like, suitcase. Climbing up for the suitcase. Just as I might get the suitcase that was dangling up. Dangling up like Somebody, Somebody's holding a suitcase out a window like that. Just as I might get it. Craig went like okay, push the fucking ladder. And then, 
do 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 Picks up John and goes up. <laughs> Picks him up, grabs him like he's behind like that. So his head's coming through here, so his face is there. And she goes like that. Doof, doof, doof. And then she lifts up his leg while he's lying on the ground. One leg. And then um, John's wife, Sally, came running in with a stripey sort of like um, a t shirt, black and white, and went like that against the ground. And just as she was the day three, John rolled out the way. But then Craig went like that here. Bang! With the axe. Right into fucking uh, John's face. And that was that. That was that. That's when everybody up to that point thought it was just a bit of fun. It's fucking real, by the way. Wrestling's fucking real, by the way. No, it's no. I just had some stories and stuff like that, but they're real fucking real athletes, by the way. They actually get real fucking injuries, by the way. Show a bit of respect. The end. Thank you. Honestly, wrestlers, I it's their stories and things like that, but they get real injuries. You want a documentary to watch actually, real interesting about wrestling, it's called Craig's Story. It's on, uh, it's on Netflix, it's on uh, Hula Hula Gold. It costs $19.99 a month. But it's well worth it. It's got uh, Leprechaun 3 on it. 